Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know we normally talk about everything related to the Chris Watts murders, but if I can bring awareness, especially to any missing child out there, I'm going to use my platform for that. I want to talk about these two adorable brothers that went missing on December 21st or was at least reported missing on December 21st, 2020. We have a three-year-old Orson West and his brother Oren West, who is four years old. They were last seen playing in their backyard at the residence they lived at in California City per the adoptive parents' statements. And if you guys have any information about these two brothers, please reach out to California City Police Department at 760-373-8606. And I'm going to be making more videos about this case, but I just wanted to play the first news um, conference that the step parents did. Please comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Family members are already screaming foul play. The biological mom, um, and you're going to see her say that she feels it in her heart that her babies are gone and that these two did something to, allegedly did something to her babies. So I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Uh, we just want to thank everyone in the community for all the support we've seen. We felt so helpless and seeing everybody out here really looking and helping out really means a lot. So tell us what happened the night that kids went missing. Okay. From our yard. Okay. It was cold. I was going to make a fire. So a lot of wood in this, this area right here next to our house. I opened up the back gate. I'm throwing wood, bringing it inside the house. My wife's inside. She was actually wrapping gifts, so we thought it was a good idea that they got our youngest to go outside and play with chalk on the, the back patio. Do not let them go on the dirt in the backyard. We keep them close. So I was playing with chalk, and I came in the house. I saw them there. I went in the house. Came back out, I didn't see him now. I immediately went back in, asked my wife, did you see the boys? She said, no, they should be outside playing with chalk. I said, well, I didn't see them. So I came back outside and I started searching my backyard. I searched the whole thing. I realized that I left the gate open and I panicked, came inside the house, searched the house, me and my wife. Once that hadn't pan out, I got in the van, I looked down the street in both directions, it was getting dark, getting cold, and I got in the van and I hit a bunch of corners. I went down this street, I turned my light on, I searched, I searched, I called their names. I talked to a gentleman on the street on the other side over there, he didn't see me. So then I came home and I told my wife, we need to call the cops. Uh, it's getting dark and I need help, we gotta get going. So I called the cops, cops came. First thing they did was tell us to stay in the house so they can get a hold of us. And they had us just sitting there and we wanted to keep searching, but everybody came out in droves. And I wanted to thank you guys that night, but we couldn't go outside. The cops told us the best are out here. The best are out here searching. And we appreciate it. And nobody ever could tell, we could never talk to anybody. And that was the issue. We just want to thank everybody. We really want to and, thank you guys. Uh, please, if anybody has seen them, please call, let somebody know. It, it call the cops, call California C the city police department. Call them and let them know what you've seen, if you see anything. Our boys, they, they are going to be rambunctious, okay? Uh, they are going to be here in this area. And I really would like to go in the houses, but it's not because I want to invade people's privacy. I just want to know if make they sure. make sure. That's it. Because I don't, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. If you got any questions. Oh, no, you're good. Oh, okay. I, I was just going to say, you know, this is the first time we're hearing from you guys and I can't imagine what you guys are going through. I can't even fathom it. Um, for you guys, for people who are thinking uh, that there's some kind of foul play involved, um, you know, we just spoke to the biological mother. She says she had a conversation with you guys um, and that she thinks there's some kind of foul play involved. That she thinks you guys did something. And that's understandable. What's your, what's your response to that? That's understandable. I would think the same thing. 
Yep. I mean, that's exactly the point. And if we can find our, find our babies, then guess what? That's, that's no. And that's all I want is to find our babies. That's it. And I talked to her this morning, and I really wanted to tell her that um, I am completely sorry because we were entrusted with her children, and they came to us, and they became our children, and we named them. And they are, they are our children, and so we want them back. So please, if y'all could get back on your, what you guys are doing, we'll sh we should be able to get a hold of somebody, but they took all of our tech, so they wanted to, I guess, uh, just rule us out, which makes sense as a part of the investigation. So that's pretty much it. Have you guys, um, you talked to the police all last night? Yes. Um, what? So you guys willfully gave them your everything? Technology. Yes. The car. Yes. Did they get a? How did they get a search warrant? Did, did you I, guys? I, oh, no I don't see why they got one, but they got one. Yeah. We would have let them take one, anything. But... We would have let them take everything. We let them come in and search with us. We we asked them to come do that. What did they take? Just tech, and that's it. Like our phones. From the house, did yeah. they? Oh, well, I guess, should I answer that? Or? Answer it to us, yeah. Okay, so, into the, into the, into the, into the, okay, I guess, I don't even know. I see, yeah, we seriously felt like we needed to be out here. We did. Uh, again, we were told the best are out here looking already just to stay put, they have more questions. And there was literally a cop with us the whole time in there. We was, he had sitting down. We would ask him to go help. They had to sit he down. Said, nope. He said, no, we got the best out there. So we it's need not, you guys here because we have more questions. I don't want you guys thinking we, we didn't try. We actually we looked tried. before we called we the police. Looked, yes. And I imagine the uh, mind-boggling part is the search for information. What happened? Where are they? Yes. Et cetera, et cetera. And we're, yeah. And, and just so we are able to present the information correctly, um, at what time did you guys notice your kids went missing? And at what time were they reported missing to the police? It's about, I, I believe, I think it was about 4.30, going on 5. It was getting dark, like I said. 5-ish. 5-ish. That's about it. That's when everything played out. And then when did you guys call the police to report that missing? I After we searched yeah. a little bit around here, we it was dark, so we definitely were, we got worried. Uh, would, would you say it was maybe within an hour, a couple hours? No, it was within minutes of us getting finished with our search. Okay. It was within minutes. Okay. What do you guys want people at home to understand um, about this situation for them, you know, even speaking about what you guys are feeling is difficult. What do you want them at home to understand about this whole situation? We're going through it. It's difficult. I, I mean, everybody's making their own, you know, their own conclusions. They don't know anything. We don't, we're not sure, exa like everything, we're not sure. We, we said what we knew and if anybody has seen them uh, or anything, please call the police department. Would you be willing to provide pictures or do you have any? They, uh, I have older pictures. All my newest were on my phone. Okay. A lot of people are speaking of this as, you know, after the math, past tense. I want to talk about your kids in present tense. What kind of what kind of boys are these? Tell, tell us about the boys. Very playful, very rambunctious, and they do love to wrestle. They, they do love to kind of get rough with each They're other. They're kids. They're kids. Of course, they would love to go out, but we would, we, so during the pandemic, we weren't trying to go, you know, out here. And so we stay inside. Yes. yes, we did. We searched before we called the cops. That's that what, was, that's what yeah. we were saying. What time did they come up missing? They came missing right before it got dark. <clears throat>
described and we call I, I searched that property I even drove around the, the whole, this neighborhood right here I even talked to a gentleman on that side one of those streets over there I said did you see my some little black kids you and go that way looking for them? that's the way I was gonna come but when I came back home I decided to call the cops because it was dark they couldn't have got away that fast and, and why did it take two people to go in the house and leave two kids out here by themselves. It should have been one parent going in and one parent right here watching the child. Not two parents going in the house oh, oh, and leaving so you, two little kids out here by themselves for 10 minutes. No, they were in the backyard. And so the back how gate they was open. out the backyard? And the back gate was open and I was getting wood so from this lot here. So you guys unresponsible and left the gate open, left some little kids outside with the gate open. All right, uh, uh, sorry, uh, you, you guys were ta talking about your boys who you're, you know, uh, I understand. Um, for a mother, uh, a mother's intuition, I know you were saying, and we, we'll get your names after this, but you were saying how you feel like they're in this area. Uh, do you feel the same way? And what is the intuition? What is the sense you get? What do you think happened to your boys? Do you think someone took them? Do you think they're lost? Do you think yeah, definitely. I definitely know they're not walking around. They're not that kind. They're, they they do not just roam around. You know these patches. They definitely, I think, definitely would have been picked up or something. That's that was my assumption. Have they ever taken off of the yard no. before? No. No. They've never taken off. The no. Basically, you guys are new to Cal City, right? Yeah. Yes. How long have you guys been living here? Just three, three months. It's crazy because y'all say y'all came out looking for the kids, and y'all got neighbors that say y'all ain't even came out looking for no kids. The we, neighbors we, went out here. We were looking. We were looking. I'm just saying, bro, it's, it's, it's crazy, bro. I got kids of my own. Where do you I'm live? Saying, them little boys that y'all raised, them is my biological family. I understand, family. I understand, bro. I don't leave kids oh, outside, And I, I understand. I have Three nine kids. Years. I have nine kids. But there's, there's outside no in the backyard that I was watching. I'm going to leave my kids unattended, Three not even for a minute. Like, you sit here, you sit here. You sit I get, here we get that, we get it. Park, They're in the backyard. We feel it. You don't even look like you worried, But bro. you said the gate, been, so why would, been okay, y'all know y'all finna, y'all know y'all finna go inside the house, right? Y'all are foster parents, right? No, we're adopted parents. Y'all adopted them, right? Okay, children. shut the gate. Go in the house. Why did it take both of y'all to go in the house and leave them outside by themselves? I understand. And y'all know why the gate you, was why, open. Why haven't y'all been out with the people around this neighborhood looking with the kids? We, because we, told, oh we already told we already on camera. That. I saw y'all on camera. no cameras last night. No. I didn't even okay. see y'all out here praying with them people. Them people was out to take care of my nephew. Not this not supposed to happen. I understand. Y'all was supposed to take care of my nephew. I understand. If anybody's watching at home who knows anything, or if you, if somebody who who has these kids, if they're watching, what is your message to them? The message has always been, as much as as soon as possible, call the California City Police Department, and please bring our babies home, and that's that. That's one of the reasons why we actually didn't want to. This do is the this. reason why, the because bi we, the bio were, we were under orders to stay in the house and stay because they're going to need to be contact us and we could not and we cannot go outside and that was the issue and that was the issue we were under orders by the cops to stay home in the house and let the let the professionals look but you just said that they were your children if they were, if you, if they were your children regardless of what somebody told you wouldn't you want to go look for them? well we have cop actually posted in, in the front yeah, door you right there we i totally we understand, totally that. understand. We understand. Totally, if you guys please if you guys actually have that question we should ask the police officer the situation but do you see how it seems that yes that the kids was left unattended you guys went in the house and then the kids disappeared how did Person, exactly, and that's the way we try to figure no, out. No, how? It, just, right it doesn't now. make sense. How, how did they disappear? How did they go out? You guys had the house supervised already. And my question is, why were they the only two children out? Where were the rest of the kids? The rest of the kids were with grandma. With who? They left. They went on vacation. So they didn't? No, because they're too young. We didn't. We, we watched them. And it turns out that, yeah, that, that, that happened. How did the right, guys, of course, sorry, I know they're course. older. Uh, just really quickly before we forget, uh, first and last no names, spelling of both uh, yeah. for both of you guys. So, uh, Susan said it again. Uh, just first and last name. Uh, uh, spelling of who or what? Or just uh, your first your and last name. Oh, our names. Oh, uh, Trezell West. West. It's T R E Z E L L West. Okay, and uh, for you? J A C Q U E L I N E. I'm sorry, one more time? J A C Q 
U E L A N E. Okay. West? Yes. Okay, guys. We'll let you go. All right. Sorry about that. This is no. so